Hello. So, as most of you guys have heard by now, um, I did test positive for COVID and I have been admitted to the hospital as of last night. Um, it is day six in total of having COVID. So, um, I only have till January 7th that I need to be in here to quarantine for. So, as long as I don't get any more symptoms, which I will read to you in a minute. Um, yeah, my symptoms started uh, December 26th, I believe, at the night. Um, what happened was I, as I was heading to bed, I felt a headache, and which is really weird for me as I've probably had one to two headaches in my entire life. So I ended up taking a Advil and just went to bed and I was fine. The next morning, um, until probably the next morning, um, and I guess here's your warning, I d every day I'm raw, I'm blunt and whatever, so that this ain't gonna change. And I don't think that uh, covering up or sugarcoating any of this is gonna be useful. So, we gonna be real, <laughs> not PG or PG-13, I don't know, whatever. Um, so the next day, from that morning all the way to the next morning, I did end up having diarrhea all day. Uh, and it was just liquid and not even, yeah, it looked like stomach bile pretty much. So that was great. So we knew something was wrong. Um, I ended up calling 811 and they recommended going to the hospital due to the um, dehydration. So I called 911 and they ended up coming over and suggested that we can do an IV right at my house instead of having to go in. So I was all for that. Awesome. So we did the IV. Uh, not much changed. I felt a little bit better. Um, I was uh, also uh, quite nauseated and burping a lot, which was weird. Uh, yeah. Um, after the IV, they left and they said if anything changes, just call them back. And so we got myself into bed and when I got into bed about not even 10 minutes in, I started feeling super, super nauseous. Um, and I actually vomited instead of dry heat and I was going, uh, I was diarrheaing. <laughs> I don't know how to kind of say that and it's going to turn into a verb now, I guess. Um, yeah. And then my stomach started descending, distending. Uh, like kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger at that point I was terrified so we ended up calling the ambulance and they came and got me uh, when we got there uh, they brought me to get an x-ray and it turned out that my stomach was seven times the size that it was supposed to be I can add pictures and stuff and the only way to relieve pressure for er, the gas from your stomach is oh right <laughs> room of surprise uh, it was distended seven times because of it ha was full of gas. Uh, they don't know how it got there and how it happened. But the only way to relieve it is to have a G-tube. So I, that is a tube that goes up your nose all the way down your throat till your stomach. Oh, one of the worst experiences of my life. And I had to have that in for about an hour. And it didn't even really work. And I'm not sure why, or maybe that was just our priority at the time. I wasn't even really thinking. I wasn't even talking because it hurts to talk. Um, but I wasn't tested for COVID that day. And that would have been the 28th or the 27th. No, the 27th. Cause I, oh, and I also called in sick to work because of that and those symptoms. Um, yeah, so we did that. Uh, I ended up going home. Uh, and that was that. Um, the next days to follow after that, I had, I was really hot, but I didn't have anything to check my fever, so I never did. Um, a tiny, tiny bit of a sore throat. Didn't hurt to swallow, but felt like my uh, throat was itchy or scratchy or something. I had muscle aches. I was extremely exhausted, but I just figured from my copious nights of staying up late, uh, not getting any sleep, uh, coming to the hospital, all of that. So I just figured that was that. Uh, let's see here, mustard exhaustion. Oh, loss of, loss of appetite for sure. After um, extracting that much feces and vomit and all that, 
definitely didn't have an appetite. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, that was that day. Okay, um, and then not yesterday, but the day before, I actually lost my sense of smell and taste. Uh, I went to spray perfume and I couldn't spray it. It was my good stuff. So I was like, what the heck? And then, so I went and took a sip of a juice box to see if I had my taste. And no. So at that point, I pretty much figured I had coronavirus. Um, but I wasn't having any other really hardcore symptoms. And when I did have those other symptoms, they were very mild, like less than a cold that I've had in my life. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put you down for a second because I need to turn the page. Let's see if we can get some nice tops in. <laughs> la la la, babes. Okay. So I figured I should, my hand's getting tired, but I need that view. Yeah, like, look at that view compared to the other one. <laughs> so um, with the loss of taste and smell, it's kind of weird because when you still have the food in your mouth, you can, you still have the texture feeling of it and you can tell whether it's sweet or salty, but it's just got no taste. And sometimes I forgot about it. I know it was only like two days and then including today, um, but <laughs> it's kind of disappointing you see your like favorite food or you're just you grab for your favorite food and you take a bite and you're just like huh and you're like oh yeah that's gone <laughs> but uh yeah um so when I finally decided to come into the uh hospital to get tested um well I had made an appointment to get tested out in the community but it was going to be a couple days um my decision to do the fast track was a couple of my home care ladies were concerned about my symptoms, rightfully so, so 100%. And so they didn't feel comfortable coming in. And at that point, I wouldn't have had any help going in and out of my bed. So um, I came into Emerge and got rapid testing. And within two to three hours, I got my confirmed positive. So I was admitted to the hospital. <laughs> oh, geez, I need a drink. That's probably why my the coughing's acting up. This is another symptom that actually came... Uh, yesterday I think um so if I breathe in too deep like <coughs> I have to cough so it's a little bit heavy but no I haven't had shortness of breath or like trouble breathing at all which is really incredible especially for day six so most likely I'm on the mend uh which again for my case being in a wheelchair and my immunity I I was terrified at the beginning of all of this that I would get the worst end of it um, I think that was a big reason why I wanted to do these videos as well is not that it's not bad. It is 100% bad, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. I literally thought that I would die if I got it. So I was petrified. Um, yeah. So if you guys get weird symptoms and that's the thing is it's different for everybody, like the descending stomach. When I went to the ER last night and I was chilling, there was a girl that came in and she had just complained about her stomach like getting bigger and bigger and I was like oh like I've never heard that one before so just call 811 they'll let you know what to do and I think obviously getting tested sooner is better